Hi guys, Sharath here. So in uh, tutorial number four, I showed you how to create a Jekyll blog on GitHub, but I didn't show you how to edit them. Maybe I showed you a little change in CSS, but I didn't show you how to completely edit your blog posts and everything. So how I manage my blog is I download a copy of it uh, in my local folders and I edit them and then I push it back to GitHub. For many beginners, this is a hard task, so they may not know how to do it. But there is a solution. Uh, you can do it online. So if you want to ch make changes in your blog, so this is our blog, you can directly go into your blog repository. So you can edit any of the files or folders inside um, your repository and the changes should reflect in your blog. So GitHub is not meant for editing codes online, but you still can do it here. So this is the structure of Jekyll folders, uh, what it will contain. So these folders that start with underscore have some special tasks to do. They are treated specially by Jekyll. So among these folders, uh, your posts, blog posts will be inside underscore posts. If you see the posts here, uh, there is one typography example post, code syntax post, and there are many examples. Um, so if you enter uh, the posts folder, you should be seeing all those posts. Okay, so if you see here, you have typography, code syntax, and all the examples. But you see the format is .md. So md means markdown. So markdown is a markup language, um, which is easy to read and easy to write uh, kind of uh, markup language. And it will be converted into HTML uh, by Jekyll. So Jekyll handles uh, everything for you. So uh, let's see what uh, typography example post has. Uh, so if you see here, so there's an image and there's all the typography inside H2. Um, okay, I think this is H1, I guess, and this is H2. And all the typography, there's a block code. And let's see what is inside that post. So uh, this is a you know uh, very readable format uh, markdown. Uh, if I go to edit here, okay. So I should see um, the front matter, the the thing that is in between two lines of uh, three dashes is front matter. Um, I'll tell you about front matter in a different video though. Uh, so here an image is included in this format. Uh, and H2 has two pound signs, H3 has three, and you can use five and six of them. So block code starts with an arrow. So this is very readable. Instead of HTML, uh, we are using Markdown to edit uh, Jekyll posts. You can also use uh, textile format, but uh, I'm familiar with Markdown, so I'm gonna be explaining only that. You can use any of those. Markdown is a good markup language. I suggest you learn it. It will help you edit all your posts. So here, um, let's say we want to change something, uh, probably some content. So this is S2. This is my website. Okay. So once you've done the editing, we have done only that editing, uh, nothing else. Maybe we can just uh, copy paste the same thing so we get uh, the image two times, uh, just to see if that happens. Let's commit the changes. Um, Okay, uh, Jekyll shouldn't take much time to produce the page. So if you see here, we have two images and this is my website. So it happened right away. But editing here is a little hard. So you have to click on edit button here and you have to go through the content and it's not very um, editing friendly. Uh, that's what I feel. If you're comfortable editing it here, you can do it. Uh, but what I suggest is pros. Uh, so it's prose.io. As soon as you log in, it will ask you for authorization. If you have logged in here in GitHub, uh, it will ask you for uh, authorization. You can always log out here. Um, you can authorize. Um, once you click on authorize, it will redirect to GitHub page asking permission. Um, so we are going to authorize this app. So what happens is pros gets all the authorization and it fetches all your content and displays so these are all the all the repositories i have and here we are concentrating on our blog which is emerald 
So let's open it. I like how the layout is and I think you know I used to edit my blocks over here and eventually I changed it back to my local folders. Uh, now I edit uh, this blog, uh, my blog uh, in local folders and then I push the changes back into GitHub. Uh, but this is uh, for beginners this is very good. Uh, let's say we want to open the post which is typography. Okay so we made it twice. Um, let's make it another. So this interface, I really like this interface. I'm, I don't know why. You know, this looks way better uh, than how it looked in uh, GitHub website. Let's change something. Maybe I can add a H1 here. My name probably is short. Probably leave a space here. Okay, so that's enough. So we can uh, no, so this is the save button on the right side. Save it. It will ask you to commit with a comment. Um, just click on OK and commit. So this will take care of everything. So if you go back here and refresh, and your your change should be here. You see it? The image is uh, image has come thrice, and my name is Sharat is right there. So this is how you can edit all your blocks. But I suggest uh, deleting all the all the posts. So uh, go to Emerald and uh, delete all the old posts because you don't need them. Um, maybe you can keep them for reference and uh, add your own posts. So we can also add new posts uh, here in uh, in post folder. So if you go here, we have an option called new file. Uh, but make sure that you're adding the file in this format. So year month uh, date and then your title and at the end you should add dot md which stands for markdown uh, so let's create a new file this shouldn't take much time so okay here uh, it says your file name so you can add uh, my first post maybe dot md so that's good and i will add h1 that is one hash and this is my first post okay so I think it already has something we don't need it but let's keep it though and we can always add images here you can drag and drop one you can add it through URL and you can ch change the text however you want to so I think this is enough I'm gonna I'm gonna save this, but it it is not published yet. As you can see, uh, publish is false. Um, so for publishing, you will get an option. Okay. Uh, while after saving it, uh, I got this un unpublished button. Um, I can click on it so that it gets published. And if I commit here, it will say that uh, the front matter it it added the front matter automatically, and it says published is equal to true. Um, you can always commit. So that should publish our post. Okay, now it says published. Okay, uh, so let's go here and check if the post has come here. Okay, it seems like it has. So as you can see, uh, my new post is added. And if you open it, um, you should have a H1 which says this is my first post. Uh, that's all it should have okay so there is one and I see that the footer has come up and if you write enough content the footer will go down and you know you don't even see it uh, so yeah so that's how you add a new post so I guess uh, this video has helped you post your first post on Jekyll and if you face any problems uh, please comment and don't forget to comment your first post link so that I can see it so if you think this video was good uh, hit thumbs up and subscribe to get the updates of my next videos. Until then, bye-bye.